What is going on guys? I hope you're having a beautiful morning, afternoon or night, whatever time it is you are watching this video. It's a beautiful day outside. I don't know if you guys can see me. The blue skies behind me. It is perfect weather. Nice, uh, beautiful spring morning here in Melbourne. So I thought, you know what? I'd make a video of it. Obviously, we're down at my local skate park, Frankston. Kind of hanging out today. We've got Jazzy coming out for a little bit of a rub. We're going to hit up some other parks. Uh, but ideally, the, the main part of this video today is going to be an update video on the flavor. So instead of just doing the one-day reviews like I usually do, I uh, thought I would just mix it up a little bit and change it and ride the deck for a week and tell you what I feel after a week because uh, the Aztec I really liked on the first and second day but after a little bit of time riding it and it kind of getting bent and stuff like that you know my feelings did change so I have spent a week with this flavor deck right here we're going to get it out it's a little bit different from the last time you've seen it I've got some brand new Aztec wheels on here well not brand new I've had it for a couple of days now and I changed the forks out as you guys can see right here I'm not riding the flavor forks the reason being is because I was riding the wider wheels the triad ones and they were just uh, rubbing a little bit on the fork uh, whenever my axle would come a little bit loose the the wheel would just move and rub against the fork so I changed that but we're riding regular size wheels so I technically could put the uh, flavor forks back on but we're going to leave it for now because I'm going to take this scooter apart and put it on another deck that I'm going to test after this video so I'm going to give you a little bit of an update later on in the video uh, about what I did like didn't like about this deck or not really didn't and did like but a little bit of an update on how it's going um, and the way it feels and stuff like that after a solid week of riding it so I'm going to try and change my reviews up a little bit. I'm going to do obviously a day one review and then I'll try and do a week after if I can. Um, I'm just a little bit strapped for time right now. Obviously my store is now open so if you guys didn't know my online scooter store is now open like at a little shop front. It's more of a showroom not necessarily a store. Um, we haven't got all the stock in store. We, we can order it in and get it in for you guys if you do like but we're more of like a showroom. We can like customize scooters and do all that kind of stuff there, which is really cool. Uh, but again, we're primarily online. If you guys do want to check it out, we're in Brayside, Victoria. Uh, just probably, literally not even five minutes away from Empire Skate Park. We're super, super close to that skate park, so it's really good. Got some loud ass sea guys flying over me. We're really close to the beach here in Frankston, but we're going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to actually put the GoPro on for the first time in a long time. Get my chest nice and sweaty. We're gonna get some GoPro clips because I bought it, well actually, ex girlfriend bought it for me for Christmas last year, and I barely used it. I feel like it's kind of getting wasted. So we're gonna put the GoPro on, get some clips, see you out there. So I literally have a 4% battery. We're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna try and get a couple of clips as fast as we can. Oh man, that sucks. I really didn't get time to film anything on my GoPro right then. I maybe got like four or five runs in. I was trying to film a line on the 3 fight 3 into the ledge and I actually landed it. My GoPro died halfway through, so I'm kind of bummed, but uh, I might go home and charge it if I have enough time. But at this point, I'll probably just charge it tonight when I put everything on the computer and get it edited. Uh, I've been kind of inactive the last couple of days. So the, the Modern Warfare beta actually came out and I've been slaying that as much as I can. Staying up super late playing that, bit of a nerd. Uh, and actually, if I wasn't a pro scooter rider, I'd be a gamer honestly I'd be streaming and all that kind of stuff I actually want to get into that kind of thing so that's what if you guys are interested in that and I should make a second channel just for gaming let me know in the comment section below but we're gonna sit this old uh, tripod down we'll probably film some clips maybe on the ledger or something like that something a little bit different won't start off in the bowl go down to the back of the skate park set something out down there
God, I cannot stand fakie manuals on a scooter. I don't know what it is, but they are so damn difficult. And I always get too raged trying to do fakie manual clips. But had a little search there, and I'm hyped with that fakie nose to fakie. Uh, if that's the second time I've ever done that. Did it for the first time the other day. It took me literally like 30 minutes. I did it really quick then at like less than three minutes, which is really good. But we're going to sit down for a little bit. So I'm starting to get really sweaty and hot. Kind of frustrated with myself not being able to get that fakie manual very easy. It took me so long. But I'm going to sit down, get a drink, decide what we're doing next. Yeah, why was my front side better than my back side? That was weird, but I'm going to take that. Man, I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love just flying around a ball, going fast, no lip slides, any kind of grind, 50-50s. So satisfying. Pretty happy, uh, well, pretty happy with the new lens right there. I've never done this. A feeble 270 to Smith. So, no front side and back side with some tricks in. Hot. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for the riding side of today's video, guys. Thanks for sticking around and watching that one. But I'm going to talk a little bit about this scooter. Uh, it's been just over a week now since I've had this flavor. It has been absolutely awesome to me. Uh, one of the first things that I did. Well, not really the first things, actually, after a couple of days. My good friend Dylan Connell showed me what he did to the back of his. He actually grinded the back and rounded it off a little bit. We're going to see what it looks like right now. I'm going to see if it's still like that. But at the back end here, if, let's see if I can get a good angle. Alrighty, let me just put this on my knee, flip this around. See there how I've kind of grinded that back, I rolled it back on an angle, just to kind of help it for 5.0s. My original idea was I was just going to cut it on an angle, but I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to waste this perfectly good deck. It's not that big of a problem, but it is a little, tiny bit of, bit of a problem after riding uh, kind of pegs in the back end. But that's pretty much what we're looking at right there. Grinded it down the tiniest bit. It did make a little bit of a difference, but not too much. Uh, it's not something it, I mean I really recommend because it might void the warranty on your actual scooter. So if there's a problem, you won't uh, get a warranty on it. At the front here, another thing I did was I got the uh, file out and I grind, ground, grinded, ground, I think. I don't know, whatever. But uh, stay there for one second. I ground this down, grinded. Uh, this is just a confusing word. But I uh, filed this back so it was a little bit smoother for crooks because uh, there's a nice big lumpy weld on there right there so I filed this one back a little bit as well and I filed the edges a little bit here because again a bit chunky so if I was to do inside 50 50s I wouldn't want that chunky weld kind of rubbing on it pretty much uh, overall this scooter feels really really nice I am very used to it I was a bit unsure on 5.5 after having a 6 uh, but I can gladly say I'd probably rather ride a 5.5 because I went from a 5 to a 6 I didn't get the 5.5 experience so I went straight up to a 6 I didn't get the in-between like this one right here but this feels absolutely beautiful I'm super content with 50-50s, 5.0s, all that kind of stuff it's like, it, to me it doesn't feel different so I'm not someone that's going to let the you know, 0.25 inches on each side really get into my head and let that affect the way I ride or anything like that so Super happy with this scooter as it is right now. I'm going to show you what I tried to do for my forks because with the flavor forks, uh, you know, they didn't really want it, they weren't really compatible with the wider wheels. So for these ones right here, come on, focus, please. I can't hold this with one hand and do it. I tried to file this down for the wider wheels, but it was just going to take too long. So I said, screw it. I put my Eagle 115 by 24 wheels on for a tiny bit. And then the next day, I actually got these pair of Aztec wheels from Active out there, which is awesome. Got it from the TDG store, which is awesome as well. But the bottom of the deck, look at this. This is what, a week? 
of uh, riding Danny Roberts looks like. As you can tell, I grind very heavily at the front of my deck right here. So that's my main uh, kind of balance point, I guess. I don't know why. It's always been at the front of the deck, which has been... I mean, it's not really a problem, but... I mean, I'd like to grind more central in the deck. This beautiful graphic in the center is still there as well, which is super nice. I actually found out that I do have a crack in my bar. Let's just see if we can see this. Um, how am I going to do this? Where is it? Is it this side? No, it's the other side. Probably can't even tell. Focus. Go. Come on. Uh, I can't even manual focus it. Let's see if I can switch to manual. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. You probably can't even tell, but there's a crack just under here. So the reason it's cracked is because I bent my bars. And when I bend my bars, I bend them back myself because they're steel. That's what you can do. That's what I like about steel bars. The SCS is holding up really nice. I haven't had to tighten this once yet, which is awesome. The brake, it's very good as well. And obviously the friendly grip tape. You can't go wrong with friendly grip tape. You've got to support the boys, which is awesome. But you know what? That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy this one, be sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, that kind of good stuff. See you in the next one. Peace.